Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be reviewing this D-Link Wi-Fi HD baby camera. And I've currently mounted this in a corner room. So while I go through the pros and cons, I'll demonstrate this unit too. This is the app I'm using. It is the My D-Link Baby app on the iPad. So I'm just going to launch it. And what I also did on this app was I created an account. This way I can get push notification. Let's view the camera. So that's here, me viewing the camera. And I'm show you what I'm viewing with right now. So the resolution is either, either 360p or 720p. My current set is 720. Okay, so pros and cons. First, the pro. This app is very easy to use. It won't take anyone more than like a couple minutes to figure it out. And another pro is all the hot features, all the neat features alike like with baby units, whether it's a traditional baby model or anything, it's all available here. You got temperature, motion alerts, uh, there's mute, I can mute this if I want to. Uh, here's a lullaby, so there's a number of songs I can play. There's volumes up, volume down here too. Or, if I want to control the volume, I can do that on this app. So I can slide the volume up or down if I wanted. Let me just close this. Stop the music. And here's the event notification. So if I don't want to be triggered, in, you know, the events to notify me or anything, I just turn this off. What this also also controls the um, the recording to this unit. So on the unit itself, on the back over here. That's where I insert a micro SD card. So I'm currently using a two gig micro SD card. So with a two gig micro SD card, let me just show, press this. I can either play back from the iPad, which I can record pictures or video, or I can record back from the device. So the iPad or the actual baby camera. Hit continue. So on two gig card for nighttime triggering, uh, about three days worth. So I'm just going to go with this one for example. Everything is broken out into time slots. So this is, let's see, let's go here for example. Seven, nine. So I'm going to play the first one. Now it's pulling the feed, it's streaming it directly from the SD card. It recorded a total of about 45 seconds. It doesn't always record 45 seconds. Sometimes it records 13, 14. And it records sound too. So what triggers this event is most likely just my son moving his feet. And he also spoke too. So let's head back out here. So being able to retrieve event uh, videos, that's really cool. That's a really cool feature. I don't need to be here. I can be at work and I can still watch any of, any of these videos. Now, lastly is this button right here is a microphone button. So if I press this, I can talk into this iPad microphone and then the sound come from the baby camera. There are some cons too. So for example, let me first show my settings. Currently, right now, lullaby five minutes, LED light. Oh, the LED I can turn it on and off. So if I turn the LED on, that comes on. So usually I just keep it off so that my child doesn't stare at it. But some of the cons of this is a day night mode. So there's infrared LEDs on this, so that when it's nighttime, it's night vision. Currently, I have it set to day. It's bright outside. The lights turned on. But let me show what happens when I set to auto. Set to auto, go back, night vision kicks in. I don't know why it does that. There's, there's, there's quite a bit of light in this room, and yet it just doesn't see it. So, no matter what time in the day it is, no matter how well this room is lit, night vision is always on. So, that's one of the cons. The night sensor, I believe, is somewhere down here. It just doesn't do a very good job picking up. Uh, the light in this room. Now another con is has to do more with the app. The app is a very good app. 
there's push notification, uh, it's very easy to use, but it's slow. The reason is, I think one reason it's slow is because it's, it constantly pulls all the configuration information from the camera. So whenever I do anything, it's always got to be like a three to six second wait time. Another con is background audio. I'm always turning this off. It just doesn't retain the setting. I don't know why. Another con is the temperature sensor. It's not very accurate. For example, so a lot of times at night, you'll see that this is reading 85 degrees. There's no way it's 85 degrees in my child's bedroom. And I think one of the problems is that it does get warm. The back of the unit does get warm, and that's exactly where this temperature sensor is located. I, what I think they should have done was put a temperature sensor somewhere, even up front. It may not look that nice, but at least the readings will be more accurate. Another con is the price. So for about $175 and up on Amazon.com, it's I'm not sure if it's a, a worthy buy because the price is pretty high and they don't provide a, view, a viewing monitor. It's, you can use it on your iPhone and iPad. It wouldn't be so bad if the app was more refined. The good news is a lot of these bugs I've encountered are software. So once I set up for this D-Link account, uh, the join my D-Link account, it will update the firmware for me if a new one comes out. So th that's great. It will ask me for permission, but it, I, at least D-Link is, is addressing a lot of the firmware, the bugs that people have encountered or have reported. Now I'd like to demonstrate the audio and the video lag. Now I'd like to demonstrate the audio and the video lag. Up, down. Up, down. Right, left. So there's about a less than a second lag between my, my motion and what I see on the screen. But there's more than a second, like one second to two second lag between when I actually speak my words and when the words are projected through the speaker on the iPad. So I cover a lot of pros and a lot of cons and it sounds like there are a lot more cons than pros. But I like to point out with the cons, they're minor. A lot of them can be addressed with software update. Perhaps the thing that dealing should address the first before anything else is the speed of the app it just pulls the data the configuration from this unit too slow would i still recommend this unit yes i would still recommend it if you have about 180 dollars to spend on a wi-fi camera this one is really good very easy to use and by far i use this one most now mainly because of this the micro sd card on here mm -hmm. it records events and there's a lot less false alarms and i can re view them remotely on my mobile device my work the infrared led always on stuck in night vision that's really minor because most of the time when i'm viewing my child he's sleeping anyway okay well the link provide me this unit for review if you guys have any questions comments suggestions feel free to contact me thanks for watching walker hamster bye